What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back yet again, bringing you guys some more competitive double battles for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. In today's video, we're going to be showcasing a new Pokemon with a rare typing fairy and steel that I think is one of the coolest Pokemon in Gen 9. We got ourselves a lovely Tinkaton team. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, get on top of that. Take two seconds out of your day just to scroll down a little bit and click that big red subscribe button. Seriously, huge shout out to all my subscribers. Thank you guys so much for su supporting me as a content creator. But today is December 1st, and I woke up this morning and I was just like, yo, cannot wait. The new rank mode is out for Scarlet and Violet. And then when I hopped on, the rank mode isn't out. It is still locked and nobody can play it. So I don't know if like a games glitch or it's just like pokemon's like has a certain set time on december 1st for it to come out that's probably the case and we're probably here a little bit too early but hey we're still recording we're still bringing you guys some content so hopefully you guys do enjoy but let's get started here with today's team preview start off in the top left corner we have the one and only tinkaton over here again one of the coolest pokemon in gen 9 in my opinion with own tempo as its ability and a metal coat as item to make steel moves do a bit more damage this thing has a water terror type with gigaton hammer play rough fake out and terror blast for its four moves Second Pokemon is going to be the Iron Bundle. It is going to be the futuristic form of Deli Bird with Quark Drive and the Assault Vest as its item. It's got Ice Beam, it's got Freeze Dry, Hydro Pump, and Icy Wind for its four moves. Middle left is going to be Kilowattrum. Kilowattrum is going to be very solid in ranked battles because, again, I actually did not say this, but in ranked battles, the rule set is out. There's no Legendaries and no Paradox form. So, like, no futuristic, no ancient Pokemon, and no, like, Shen Pals and all that good stuff in there. So, it's going to be a fun series, and I think it's going to be really good. But Kilowattrum is going to be great in that series because it is one of the only Tailwind setters in the game. It's got Competitive as its ability, Rocket Focus Sash as item, then it's got Thunderbolt, Tailwind, Protect, and Feather Dance for stat boost. Fourth Pokemon on today's team is going to be Iron Bundle's best friend. It is going to be Obama Snow. It can set the snow for weather control, has the Life Orb as item to do some big damage, then it's rocking Blizzard, Ice Shard, Earth Power, and Protect for its four moves. Bottom left hand corner is going to be the oh so powerful Dragonite. Dragonite is going to be a beast in the ranked meta due to its normal terror typing alongside with extreme speed. It can just do crazy damage and then you give it a choice ban. Just like this Dragonite has, the damage just stacks even more. It's got Outrage, Dragon Tail, and Fire Punch for its other three moves. And then last but not least, the ability is going to be Inner Focus to protect it from Intimidates and Fake Out Flinches. Final Pokemon on today's team is going to be the Great Tusk Pokemon, the ancient form of Donphan, with Protosynthesis ability, also with that Booster Energy as its item. So when it hops into battle, the Protosynthesis is going to automatically uh, activate. It's got EQ, Close Combat, Iron Head, and Protect for its four moves. Guys, if you want to write this team for yourself, Mental Code is going to be at the top right hand corner of the screen, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that doubles ladder. Look to get some wins with this Tinkaton team. First match coming at you guys, going up against a Dodonzo team with the little sushi Pokemon. So he's looking to pair that up and get after the battle. He also has Azumarill, Glimora, and then he has, uh, how do you pronounce that rock Pokemon? I always forget. Is it Gargle Neck? Something like that. Hopefully his Pokemon's in English so I can actually read it because my Pokemon aren't even in English and I can't even read that. But it's all good. Let's rock out with, uh, with Tinkatung for the lead because we can have fake on control and we could just go in with a Pokemon more so like Dragonite. Dragonite could be solid. Could go Tinkaton alongside Dragonite. We could Terrasilize right off the rip. We're going to have to watch out for Pokemon like the... Uh, oh, I could go Delibird. I do have Freeze Dry, which could be really good up against the, uh, the Donzo and all that. So I'm going to go Delibird in the back end. And then last but not least, could go Kilowattrel. Great Tusk is pretty solid here as well. I'm leaning towards the Great Tusk here. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to lock that one Pokemon in. Actually, who didn't I pick? Oh, I didn't even lead the Dragonite. Hold up. Wait a minute. Got to go all the way back here. Dragonite, come on down. Bring in the Futuristic Delibird and then... The ancient Dom fan. So there's a four Pokemon. Let's lock it in. Let's lock it down. Let's look to grab ourselves a win here in battle number one. But I feel like this combo right here is going to be strong in ranked battles. The Dodonzo and the, uh, I don't even know how you pronounce the, the little sushi Pokemon. Tisugimi? Gami? Something like that. I'm still learning, guys. I'm still learning. But eventually, give me a couple couple more weeks. I'm going to have all the Pokemon memorized. But he's going to throw out the rock Pokemon alongside with Sushi Guy. And we could fake out one of them. Could fake out Sushi. Sushi might be rocking indoor. I can actually fake out the. Uh... Oh, I could Terra Blast here. Will this be a special or a physical? This be a special. A special move. What's my special attack at? I could go straight after that little, this little thing right here. Cause he might be going for an, an indoor explosion and then get out the other thing. So I could be doing that. I could go into an outrage here. Or I could just Dragon Tail. Let me choice ban into it. 
Could have straight up extreme speed. Ah, oh, what do I want to do here? What do I want to do here? I definitely want to fake out. I might just go into an outreach. I'm gonna go into an outreach here. I'm gonna go into an indoor. That's totally fine. We're gonna fake out this. Oh, we could have covert cloak. Could definitely be rocking the cobra cloak. That item's like really throwing the game differently. Outrage is gonna fly here. We're gonna hit up on this guy and we're gonna do some good old damage to him. So he does flinch, he does not have the cloak. He's looking to go for the combo and now he's gonna burn himself. I'm gonna have flame herb orb going on here. And we're just gonna go for a I could go for a Gigaton Hammer. Gigaton hammer can do some mean damage. And who goes who's faster? Oh wait, yo, wait, wait a minute, what is that? We're just glitching to the ground! Is it, am I still glitching to the ground? Yes, why am I glitching to the ground? <laughs> Let's see who's faster real quick. That's what I wanted to see. We got 146 and we got 101. Okay. That ain't too bad. Uh, I'm stuck into an outreach here, so I could just go for a nice little Gigaton Hammer to take this Pokemon out. Then outreach will slide over. Probably going to endure again, but on top of that, it will take it out. He's going to go for a Protect, but it fails, which is gorgeous. That's lovely. That's lovely. I'm glitching to the ground, but Gigaton Hammer coming out here, and it's taking out this Pokemon. Base 160. 160 that move is, plus stab on top of that. But look at my Tinkaton, just glitching to the ground. Outrage is going to fly over here. This thing is dead, right? Yeah, he dies out, and we just kind of countered his combo perfectly. The fake out on the Tinkaton, the big time Gigaton Hammer, everything is working out perfectly. And I decided not to Terrestrialize my uh, Dragonite, which was a smart call by us. We had to get off as much damage as we can, so the Choice Band Outrage was, it was perfect. It was perfect. But yo, take a time. What are you doing? <laughs> it's glitched into the ground. He's gonna go into Flamigo over here, which is such a cool Pokemon. Flying and fighting. And the Dons is gonna come out here. Copy the stat changes. There was no stat changes. So he was looking to copy the stat changes, but he couldn't. He could not. I'm gonna go right into this uh this lovely little uh actually Flamigo might be faster than us. I could terrasalize Tinkaton if I wanted to. I could terrasalize Tinkaton. But I don't think it's going to be my play. I do not think Terrasalizing is going to be our play. I think I'm just going to go straight after these guys. Playoffs going to come out here and almost KOs. That's some big time damage coming out from Tinkaton. This thing hits hard and it drops attack. That's big play. Big play. This thing's going to roost right off the rip. It's not going to be able to bring it back to full HP. So if he does not KO my Tinkaton, I'm going to be able to KO it next turn. I'm confused, but hopefully I'll still hit here. Make it happen. I do still hit. That's lovely. And that's going to slide over to Flamigo. Oh, let's go. Let's go. Tinkaton and Dragonite doing absolute work in battle number one. Even though Tinkaton's halfway through the ground. He's going to order up here. That's totally fine. We soaked that up all day. The Dodonzo is really not that strong without uh, without his little fish Pokemon. Without his little sushi. But I'm going to drop a player up here. And Outrage is going to fly again. Hopefully, we can pop out of Confusion. We get off some big damage. But this thing's bulky. Oh, we do snap out of Confusion. That's lovely. Outrage is doing a good amount of damage. Look at that. Stab, choice band two, order up coming again. We soak it up, and that should pretty much be GG's. We'll go for a Gigaton Hammer just because I want to see that move, and it looks so sick. Let's look at this thing. Just picks up the hammer, bam! And of course, yo, what? The graphical camera angle messed up my view for that one. That is rough. But Outrage comes out here, takes out the Donzo, and we pick up a win here in battle number one. First match went pretty smoothly. Clean sweep with Tinkaton and Dragonite. But we're hopping into our second battle. Let's go back to back for you guys. We're going up against a really cool team with a bunch of really cool Pokemon. He's got Titar, Magnezone, Scizor, Volcarona, Dodonzo, and Dragapult. I got to get my hands on a Dragapult team. I love Dragapult, and I feel like a lot of you guys like Dragapult as well. But, um... Hmm, how should I lead this one? Tinkaton's definitely a solid lead here again. Really good all around. I am going to be leading the Tinkaton. So I'm going to go Tinkaton. I could go Kilowattro for Speed Control because a lot of these Pokemon are really fast, right? Speed Control could be good plus the electric and uh, the flying. Eh, it's eh, but it really depends on uh, who he brings out here. I could go with Deli Bird. I could go in with a little bit of Deli Bird. Plus these Pokemon's really, really fast. Like lightning speed. 206. God dang, this thing cooks. This thing cooks. I think it's going to be a solid lead. I'm going to go with Deli Bird as lead. Where do I go in with more so a Pokemon like this? More so with a Pokemon like you. I could bring him in the back end, but I'm definitely going to go Deli Bird here. I am going to bring a little bit of Tom Fan and then a little bit of Dragonite action. You just can't go wrong with Dragonite. You really can't. Yeah, I'm going to go Dragonite here. Lock it in, lock it down. Let's go back to back here. But yeah, really cool team we're going up against. Get to see the Scissor, hopefully, because Scissor looks absolutely amazing in this game. I think it's a great, like, look at it. You can see it in the picture right there. It looks insanely good. 
Like, how they make Scissor look so good, but, like, the rest of the game have graphical issues. But I think it's only this battle stadium that I really have, like, problems with graphical issues. Like, Tinkaton's not soaked into the ground this, this battle. Pretty cool. Deli Bird's looking good. He's going to go into... Who do you even lead? I wasn't even paying attention. Magnazone and... Was it Scissor? I think it might have been Skizzy. It is Skizzy. So, two Steel types here. Um, can't really do much unless I Terrastalize into water. But I can still fake out Pokemon like Scizor. So I'm thinking of doing. I'm thinking of popping a nice little fake out into Scissor slot. And maybe just Hydro Pump across the board. Right into that thing. Let's do it. Let's get after that. What's weird, Delibird looks like it's a Steel type, but it's really not. It's kind of funny. The fake outs can come out here. Tinkatong is backed into its glitch a little motion. It's totally fine. Delibird's going to do some crazy big damage, which is huge. That's some crazy big damage. Thunderbolt's going to fly here. Uh, we should be able to soak one. No, we do not. Not even one. Belly Bird's a little lightweight, but it's doing some big damage. Just a tough lead for us. Really tough lead for us all around. Just was not good. Just was not good. But I could go into Donphan here. Donphan with a little bit of close combat action. I'm kind of digging that. I could Terrasize into Steel Typing if I want to as well. But I kind of like having the Ground Typing. Yeah, I'm going to go Donphan here. Definitely gonna go Don Fan. The Don Fan's gonna come out here. Uh, what's Tinkaton gonna do here? We're gonna boost our attack stat, I believe, with this uh, Proto Synthesis. Yep, attack was heightened. And I'm just gonna drop a close combat. Might as well, right? Definitely wanna go for like a, a play rough here to knock you out. And then just a close combat's gonna do us so good. Yeah, I'm just gonna drop the close combat into the Magazine slot because it has a chance to have a Levitate as stability. So I don't really wanna risk it, even though it might not. It could be having a... It could have Sturdy instead. Which it probably does. I think it learns Levitate, right? I believe it learns Levitate. I believe it learns Levitate, Sturdy, and something else. Actually, it might not. To be honest with you guys. Bull Punch flies here. It's going to be easy soaks for us. Actually, wow, that did a lot more damage than I thought. Just because we're half Fairy type. Close Combat's going to come out here. And this thing is Sturdy, isn't it? Yeah, so EQ could have been replied. But on top of that, we didn't really want to take out our Tinkathon. We get off some mean damage here. We need this play rough connecting, please. Oh, and I think it's Rocky Helmet. Chill on me, man. Play rough does connect. And we get rid of the scissor. So we get rid of the scissor. I am ready to drop an EQ if I want to. But I might swap it to Dragonite at that point. I could do that. That might be my play. He's gonna flash kind of me, and you get a crit? Bruh, get out of here. Get out of my face with that. I need it one more turn. I need it one more turn because I would have swapped my ticket ton into the Dragonite. EQ'd, picked up some mean damage, and went from there. That hurts the soul. That one hurts the soul. But hey, we still have Dragonite. We can still Terrasalize here. Pretty solid. We know Tinkaton outspeeds, and he's going to go into Dragapult. Ooh. Dragapult, we can't just outspeed. Hmm. Hmm. Dragon Tail hits both, I believe. So I'm going to play rough here. I believe Dragon Tail hits them both. No, it only hits one. I still have to Terrasalize into normal typing. I can start outraging. I am gonna outrage. I'm just gonna choice to an outrage here. Even though I'm Terrasalizing, we just wanna change our typing just so he doesn't hit me with a dragon move because he's gonna be faster than us. That dragon pole is gonna be faster than us. We'll see what he wants to do here. We're hoping my Dragonite can just take out the uh, Magnet Zone and then Dragon Pole goes after my Dragon Knight and then Player Off can come out from Tinkaton, maybe pick up KO. He's gonna protect this Pokemon, which is totally fine. I'm fine with that. I am fine with that. He's gonna U turn out of here, you little booger. And, uh, okay. I guess we could deal with that. The thing is Orb, too. He is Life Orb, but he's gonna show his last Pokemon. He's going to show his last Pokemon. And who's gonna be? It's gonna be. Dun -dun -dun -dun. Volcarona. So Volcarona's gonna come out here. We're gonna hit him with a player off. Not too bad damage on that. Is Outrage gonna slide to that slot? I hope so. I would love to hit that thing with an outrage. And of course this thing has flame body. Of course this thing has flame body. The flame body comes out here. Outrage hitting up on this thing. Should be able to KO us, right? Is flame body gonna trigger on us? Please no flame body. We don't want it. Phew! Flame body did not trigger on us. Um This one's gonna be tough. This one's gonna be rather close. Really close. Really, really close. At this point, I'm just going to go for a Terra Blast. No, nah, I'm just going to go for a Gigaton Hammer here. Just to KO this thing. 
And the reason I want to go for Gigaton Hammer is because it has higher accuracy than Playoff. Playoff can miss. I miss it all the time in Sword and Shield, so I'm not going to risk it here. I'm just going to go for the base uh, 100 accuracy here and then have this Outrage slide over. Because if I can hit this thing with one Outrage, you say GG. And I don't think he can kill us. I really don't think he can kill us. Because his ghost type moves won't work on us since we're, uh, since we are normal typing. And then I think we can soak up any dragon move he has to offer. Unless he terrestrializes it into like a different type. This battle's coming out to the wire, yo. Tinkaton's doing some work. It is burned right now. He's gonna go for dragon darts. We're fine. We're fine with that. We're fine with that. That should, that should be GG's. That should be GG's, right? Tinkaton just lands Gigaton Hammer. Yes, sir. Later, Magnazone. Slap that thing up with a big time hammer. And then Outrage slides here and picks up the KO. GG, yo. 2 and 0 for this video. You guys gotta love it. Here comes the Outrage. Big time damage. Great terrestrialization from us on the Dragonite. And, and Tinkaton's just doing work at both battles. Staying in the whole time, just dominating. Final battle coming at you guys. Going up against a Shrew Ledge team with Sylveon, Titar, that Pokemon again, Minecraft Rock Guy, and then Grimmsnarl, and Rotom Wash. But yo, I didn't realize Tinkaton was this strong because his stats really aren't that good, but its moveset is incredible. It really makes up for it. You got the base 160 Gigaton Hammer. You got Play Rough, which is Stab as well. It learns Fake Out, Terra Blast. Like, it's just so good all around, and I'm loving this Pokemon. But I'm going to lead it again. It's just such a good lead. Really, really strong. We can Fake Out Pokemon. He might go into, like, the Cerule to, to dodge a Fake Out, and if that's the case, I might just attack. But I'm going to go Kilowattro, and I think we're just going to take Speed. Actually, do we go Kilowattro, or we might go back into Deli Bird? Actually, we should bring Tikaton in the back end. We could go Obama Snow and Deli Bird. Get the weather on, or we can go Deli Bird in the front and have Obama Snow in the back, just in case he wants to lead Titar. That might be our play. Or we could go Kilowattro. I kind of like the Tailwind setup here. I do really like the Tailwind setup. But yeah, I'm going to do that. I'm going to go Obama Snow. You know, we're just going to go Tinkaton. We're going to say, Dragonite, you had too much fun here. And of course, I messed up on clicking these things again. But we're going to say, Obama Snow, you had way too much fun. Or not, Obama Snow. Dragonite, you had too much fun. You've been dominating the meta so far. So we're not going to use it in this battle. We use it in the past two battles. It's totally fine. But let's get one here. Let's grab ourselves another perfect record. Yeah, Tinkaton's so much fun to use, too. Hopefully, we're not back on that map. How do I switch maps? There has to be a way to switch maps. This map is just too glitchy. It's way too glitchy. He's gonna lead these two, and this is not a bad lead for us. I can freeze dry. I can uh really get some work done here. We do have competitive here as well. But from here, I think we just set up a tailwind. I do have feather dance, which is good. Hmm. How should lowers attacks that? I could feather dance if I want to. Uh I think we should tailwind this turn. But I can definitely see a protect coming out from the uh to rule edge. And then I'm just gonna freeze dry right into this Rotom. I can definitely see the Cerule Edge either protecting or doing something like that. Knowing that I have this little bird of delis out. Futuristic deli bird, I should say. I should say. Let's see what he does. Yo, look at, wait, look at Rotom. He's looking up at the bird. I like that. I don't think they ever put that in a Pokemon game. He's leaning up and like looking up at the bird because he's up in the air. I think that's a cool touch. Finally, Scarlet and Violet did something right. <laughs> Even though this game is so much fun. See, I told you he was either going to protect or like withdraw his Cerule Edge. He's going to take him out. We're going right after this uh, Rotom. And he's going to bring out Titar. And at this point, I can just swap into uh, Obama Snail. And this is exactly why. Free Strike is going to pop here. Get off some big time damage. Do half its health. And we love it. And he's going to pop a Citrus Berry. Which, no bueno. We don't like that. We don't like that. But he can drop rocks at this point. He could definitely drop rocks. But Tailwind's going to fly out here. Let's see what Rotom ends up doing. You go for an eerie impulse. That's fine. I can swap you. I can swap you at this point. I can deal with that. I can deal with that. And I can feather dance onto that T-Tar. Drop its attack stat. I'm about that. I like that. I'm all about that. We can take weather control. We'll feather dance on you. And then we'll swap and change in weather. I'm all about it. If he wants to drop rocks, he can drop rocks. If he takes out my Kilowattro, it's no big deal. I got off my Tailwind. I got off what I wanted to do with him. Let's see. We go into Bomber Snow, and this is exactly why I brought it. For weather control. And it starts to snow. And I love snow so much more than hail. I love snow so much more than hail. I think that was a great touch that they put in there. So he's going to swap into Minecraft Rock. I'm going to Feather Dance. And he doesn't have weather anymore, which is great. He wants to go into these rock Pokemon and go into weather. He's Dragon Dancing. That's fine. I can Feather Dance him again. I could definitely Feather Dance you again. 
I could definitely feather dance you again. Which is exactly what I'm gonna do. I actually might swap it. I don't think he's gonna swap it after a dragon dance. We'll see. But oh dude, I don't have a grass move, which kinda sucks. But do I go after T-Tar or the or that Pokemon? I could drop a Blizzard. Blizzard's not too bad. But Earth Power. Earth Power is super effective. This is gonna be stab. If it gets a boost from snow, let's see if it gets a boost from snow. If it gets a boost from snow, it will do more damage than that, uh, than that, what's it called? Then earth power. Makes Blizzard more likely to hit, boost a defensive ice type. So it doesn't boost damage. I think earth power is going to be your play. Who do we earth power into? We just earth power into this thing. Start chipping up damage. He's going to withdraw the, that Pokemon anyway. He's going to go back in the Rotom probably, right? Correct? And I might just swap my Bomb Snow at this point. I'm going to go into Cerulege. The Feather Dance isn't going to affect this Pokemon. Oh, it has clear amulet. I thought Feather Dance was normal for a second. We got Earth Power, and that's some big time damage. We like that damage. Hopefully, that thing's not going for recovery. I'm going to go for Assault Cure. All right, so Assault Cure is up. It could protect this turn as well. I don't really mind the Assault Cure coming out here. Um, hmm. I might as well stay in at this point. He can have Weather at this point. If he swaps in a T-Tar, that's totally fine. I can just go into a Thunderbolt into this slot. And then just Earth Power again if I want to. Or I could just go for a Blizzard. I think Blizzard will KO. I really do think Blizzard's going to be able to KO. But if he swaps Weather, then I might miss my Blizzard. So yeah, Earth Power's going to come out here. Run it up. So he's Salt Cured by a So This is going to be a good battle. He's going to withdraw you and probably go back into T-Tar at this point. Or probably in the Rotom. Just dodge that move. No, he goes into T-Tar. I'm fine with that. I'm going to be able to get off a nice chunk of damage over onto T-Tar. And he's going to Terrasilize the Cerulege. So Cerulege is going to get his Terrasilization. We still have two very strong Pokemon in the back end with Delibird and... Uh, and what's his name? And Tickathon. But he's going to Terrasilize into Grass typing. That's fine. Thunderbolt's going to come out here. Can we get a Para? Going to do not too much damage. But give me the Paralyze. We do not get the Paralyze. Earth Power is going to fly. Get off some big damage onto him. Fine with this. I'm fine with this. This thing is grass happy now. He's gonna go for a bitter blade. And that's gonna get a crit. Hurts the soul, man. Hurts the soul gets a crit and he recovers all his all of his HP back. Okay. I feel you. I feel you. I think there might be one more turn left in Tailwind, or it might end. Let's see. I'm gonna take some buffets. I can't even see my Pokemon because the camera angles are so whack. And Salt Cure is gonna take about 20 of my HP. Okay, cool. The Tailwind is gone. Um, I think speed still might be in our favor. I could go into you. You're looking good on both ends. Looking real good on both ends. Could go for an Icy Wind. I know he outspeeds everything. Tinkathon's not bad here either. Hmm. I could go into you. And fake out the Cerule Edge. What do I want to do here? This Pokemon's looking way too strong here. I'm going to go into Deli Bird. I'll save my Tinkathon. I will save my Tinkathon. I'm going to go into Bird that is full of Delis. And... What do I want to do here? Drop a pure Ice Beam into this thing. Then just... Do I go for the Blizzard now? I'm going to go for the Earth Power instead. I'm going to go for a Shadow Sneak here. It should be easy eats for us. Yeah, we eat that up all day. And I'm going to be able to drop an Ice Beam. This should KO, right? Correct? Get this thing out of here? Yeah, cool. We dropped the thing, no problem. Titar's rather slow. We get a crit. We kind of make up for his crit. That's fine. But we get rid of him, and we still have Taras, which I might save that for my for my uh, Tinkaton with water. So Earth Power's gonna come out here, big time damage. What is that Titar going for? What is Titar going for? Rock Slide. Okay, I'm cool with that. I'm not cool with that. Never mind. I thought Deli Bird could eat up. Never mind. Deli Bird's out for the count. How can we win this battle? How can we win this battle here? Hmm. That thing is orb, so it's going down slowly. We still have Tinkaton. He has two po two Pokemon, I believe. No, he has three. Yo, if Tinkaton can clutch this up, this would be the greatest clutch ever. But Tinkaton coming out here. I'm not gonna go after the T Tar because because of the what's it called? Oh, I don't know if I want to Thrastalize into Water type at this point. Let's go Gigaton Hammer. Yes, I am gonna go Gigaton Hammer. Life Orb's gonna take out the uh, T Tar. Life Orb takes out the T Tar all day. So if I can Gigaton Hammer and take out this Minecraft Rock, we're gonna be thriving. He's just gonna hard swap. So I think he wants to force the move into this Rotom. 
Can we still take out this Rotom? If we could take... No, I don't think we take out the Rotom here. No shot, right? Kick 10 Hammer coming in hot. How much damage are we doing? Yeah, no, we don't pick up the KO. Not even a lot of damage. Any D dances. Yeah, this one's not look good for us, guys. This one does not look good for us. We kind of came close with that one. But just the rocks overdid our ice Pokemon really, really bad. So it was rough. It was definitely rough. But I can go into a play rough from here. Once that thing hits me, I could hit it here. I could definitely hit it here. But I have to go for a play rough. Look for the KO here. I can go for the rock slide. He's going to die here. We're going to be able to soak that up. And if we can KO this Rotom, hold up. If we can KO this Rot Rotom here, we have a shot at winning because then I could just tear and win this match. Player off coming out here, KO. Oh, let's go. Let's go, Tinkaton. Clutch in 3v1? Oh, yo. Oh, no, yo. That's GG's, right? We might not even have to turn slides here. We might not even have to turn slides here. That could straight. Giga Gigaton Hammer's gonna do more. Gigaton Hammer's gonna do more. I'm gonna Gigaton Hammer. GG's. Let's go. One. 3v1 clutch from Tinkaton? Destroyed a T-Tar Minecraft rock guy in Rotom Wash? Let's go. That third and final battle, I thought it was over. It was a 3v1 versus the Tinkaton. And Tinkaton came out there and clutched it up. We knew the T-Tar was dying to life orb, so all we really had to do was eat up a shot. The player off was able to take out the Rotom Wash, and then it was just it was light work from there up against that Minecraft rock Pokemon, which I still I still don't know its name, but I'm going to figure it out for you guys. So next time I verse it, I could say it fully. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spend some positive day, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.